required practical for investigating variables that affect temperature change in a reacting solution. During chemical reactions, energy is transferred between reacting substances and their surroundings. You are going to investigate neutralization to determine whether a reaction in solution is exothermic or endothermic. For the neutralization reaction, we're going to need an alkali and an acid. You're going to use one molar sodium hydroxide solution and a measuring cylinder. You're going to need a polystyrene cup standing in a beaker. You'll need hydrochloric acid and a filter funnel. You'll need a temperature probe, a burette and clamp stand. Measure 25 centimetres cubed of one molar sodium hydroxide solution and put that into your polystyrene cup. Next, lower the burette standing in the clamp stand, make sure the tap is on the closed position and then use the filter funnel to fill the burette with hydrochloric acid up to 50 centimetres cubed. If you go above this point, you can remove the extra hydrochloric acid, just lift the burette back up and pour the extra acid back into the original chemical bottle. Now use the temperature probe to record the initial temperature of sodium hydroxide and record your results in your table. Now add five centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid from the burette into the polystyrene cup with sodium hydroxide by turning the tap gently to open and close. Stir the solution and record the highest temperature that the reaction reaches. Add another five centimeters cubed of acid stir the reaction and record the highest temperature that the reaction reaches. Continue adding acid at 5 cm cubed intervals, recording the highest temperature at each interval to determine if the reaction is an exothermic or an endothermic reaction. You will need to add a total of 40 cm cubed of acid and then repeat the experiment twice.